Welcome guys to another session on dynamic programming solutions and the problem we are tackling in this episode is DPV 6.17 exact coin change. So the problem is we are given a set of coins x1, x2, xn and we are about to make a value v and the question is can we make exact change that is using these set of coins can we exactly make the value v. So it looks like a pretty straightforward problem and the intuition is is um, that you can try a coin and using dynamic programming approach you can try a coin and if that coin really fits in the in the x in some value v then the remaining value is v minus xi which is that coin that you just tried so and and if the smaller problems are all done then you know the probability of uh, you know v minus xi should already have been computed from some pro problem that you have solved before and so that's the general intuition now how do we exactly solve this problem so let's say we assume p0 is 1 right so you can always make a value 0 and um, now if you make that assumption then we start with the sub problem of v equals 1 and then v is 1 what you have to do is you have to try a coin xi and the coin xi essentially um, has to fit within the value v in this case v equals 1 so if the coin xi is less than or equal to 1 then you can try it if the coin is bigger than 1 obviously you cannot try it anymore so if you can try this coin then the equation is that yes if it's less than then you have to try and make sure that p of 1 minus xi is also 1 which is that it was possible to make exact change of this one minus the coin that we just tried and if that is one then the the answer is yes if um, no coin fits the bill that it is less than the value that you're trying then the answer is zero right you cannot make the exact change if if nothing if everything was above one we cannot make it so um, so then you repeat the same exercise with v equals two um, and then obviously you know um, 2 minus xi um, and and basically the other thing to keep in mind is that this equation guarantees that you're not going to go negative right because if xi is you're, you're not going to try anything larger than 2 as a coin right so um, and, and therefore our boundary condition still holds so uh, you basically you again you try all possible coins that fit within two and if they fit within two then you try p of two minus xi right and that both conditions have to be true you have to fit within two and p2 minus xi has to be true also or one and then this is possible to make this uh, make this uh, value two with these coins so and if none of the coin fits even this condition then it's not possible and if if none of the coins fits this condition then also it's not possible right so there's there's all those paths so to generalize this um, problem to compute p of x first of all you have to try all the coins all possible coins xi and xi has to be less than equals x i should add uh, less than equals here but xi has to be less than equals x and p of x minus xi once you've taken xi then remaining values p of x minus xi that should be one right and if both of these conditions are true then exact change is possible for that xi and you would mark p of x as one so um, and, and then you compute this all the way up to v and once you have computed v that's your answer and what is the order of this problem the order of uh, the, the complexity or the order of this uh, solution is clearly you have to go from 1 to v so it's v and then for each value you have to try all coins so it's v times n so that's it guys that's a fairly straightforward problem here and um, thanks for watching and uh, until next time uh, take care and bye bye